Now that you've connected to your Azure DevOps collection, let's talk a little bit about the anatomy of an Azure DevOps source control and how you can get started with your first project. So looking here at the source control explorer window, which you can get by going up and finding the team explorer window and clicking source control explorer, we can see that we have two columns. This first column over here on the side shows you all of the projects that are housed underneath your collection. So a collection is one repository where you can place all of the projects that you want to work on. Projects can be given different names based on their purpose or the project type. So you can see I have four different projects housed underneath here. Each project can have multiple folders or files that live underneath. And you can see these over here in the right hand column. So as I click on each project, you can see the folder structure changes underneath to show me what is inside. When you're just getting started with a fresh collection, you will not have any projects over here underneath that collection you must have at least one project before you are going to be able to check in any code. Collections only hold projects. Collections do not hold code. So if you try to check in a project that you've created in Visual Studio into a collection that you haven't created a project in, it's going to refuse. So we need to first create a project inside of a blank collection before we're able to use it. To do that, we use the Azure DevOps web interface. We can get to the web interface by going to cisteam.otc.edu slash TFS, and you will be prompted to log in with your OTC username and password. Here we can see I'm in the CIS resources collection, just like I was showing you in Visual Studio. I again can see the four projects underneath just like I could see in my Visual Studio Source Control Explorer. In order to create a new project, I click the blue New Project button over here at the top, and I give it a name. I can also optionally give it a description. Underneath the Advanced section, you want to make sure you change your version control to the Team Foundation version control, and not the Git. The work item process doesn't change for us in our classes, so you can leave it on Agile, and then click Create. The project will be created, and once it is done so, this window will close, and you will see it in your list of projects underneath your collection here in the web interface. Once you have successfully created your project in the web interface, you can see it in Visual Studio by coming back to your Source Control Explorer and clicking the refresh button here on the menu bar at the top. Once it refreshes, you're now able to see your new project here in the Source Control Explorer. This new project is ready now for you to add code from inside Visual Studio, and that's what I'm going to show you in the next video.